to work out late at night. The safe here, obviously. The cigarettes out. Got to find a bank machine. Should have used the bank machine in that store because they're quite friendly. Thinking of getting a little wagon like that from T Muba. But with four wheels, not three. Hi. I was thinking of getting a little wagon like that because they're pretty cheap at Timu. Yeah, yeah, we have a turn there. Ah, uh, they're pretty cheap. They're like 20, 30, 10 bucks. They need nice. They need bikes. Yeah, I want like one with uh, four wheels, not three wheels like yeah, that. Yeah, well, it's got three wheels. Exactly. The last one, I got it at home, the cake broke in a week. Oh, so, yeah. And, and it looks like they have really nice ones for 50 bucks. Yeah, yeah. So what I do is I just look around on Amazon, because yeah. a lot of these products in Timu, if you really investigate, they're the same as products on Amazon, yeah, yeah. but they have a different name. Crazy. Yeah. Got my bathtub, Timu bathtub for under twenty dollars. When I put in my Timu order, what I'll do is, you know, look for something that costs a bit of money, like that wagon. Then, what I'll do is Google it, right, on the day I'm ready to put my order. And then what will happen is. Uh, I'll get like 84% off because they'll want me to put the app on and I'll buy my $50 cart cheap. but I don't think that would be safe. I think today, the best thing, is to pay the extra a little bit of price. My bank doesn't work today. It's closed. It's too dangerous. Oh, we got a sad dude here. I'm sad. Of course you are. 
because you're suffering probably on hard drugs and there are people cruel enough to want this to be available for you so you can suffer. But in Amsterdam, the 19-year-old, 20-year-old, 21-year-old man, they all know nothing about fentanyl, but they do know that heroin should be illegal because it causes suffering, mass suffering. And you don't even have to be on it to be suffering. Everyone around suffers. Broken windows, robberies. Uh, customer, customer transportation van should have a warming blanket in there because the metal is really cold and I have advocate for that. And I do have a video, they told me they put customer transportation vans in there, or, or the warming blankets. Vancouver police do lie, they could lie when there's no warming blanket. So, you know, if you've been in one of those customer transportation vans recently, let me know if there was a warming blanket. 